One at a time, okay. where you started from, from, why you, and why did you get into YouTube? Matt, Gosh. Matt, Matt has a footprint that lasts longer than mine on YouTube, so I figure I'd just let him start. Okay, let's rewind things back to like 2007, okay? I was a wee fifth grader, and I was like, you know, YouTube is a thing. I want to make YouTube videos. Smosh and Fred. Mm. When was YouTube made? 2006? 2006, yeah. So so I, I jumped in a year later, and I was like, this is sick. Uh, and I started making YouTube videos, and uh, I, I wanted to be a big, famous YouTuber. So I started making YouTube videos back in 2007, 2008, 2009. You don't need to say the name. <laughs> That's what I was afraid to say. <laughs> Can I bring up an old video that you linked us about Shane Dawson? Hey, Shane Dawson. Well, I, I'm sorry ahead. your grandma's dead, My, my bro. favorite part about the whole video is like, I've been through this like five, di five different times. And I'm like, yeah, your right. five grandmothers died? No, my grandma died five times. <laughs> she came uh, back. Roll though. that clip, Scott. Please roll Scott, that clip. Scott. Hey, Shane Dawson. Uh, I'm really sorry about your grandma. I mean, she's still hanging on, but... I know it must be really hard right now. Um, I had to deal with so many people with the exact same thing. That's the same thing's happened to me like five times with so many important people to me. And I know that when she does pass on, I know that she'll go and she'll be with Jesus. And I know that everything you've done really means a lot to her and she really loves you. And um, yeah. This was when the reply things were popular? Yeah, or this like was when the video reply video replies. Reply videos so you were could still big. reply to, uh, this is the ones that if you made a reply video, you could elect it to actually go underneath. Yes, yeah, it's like yes. re colon and then. Yeah. So and it, then they accepted it and it appeared there. It was called re grandma part one. And I'm, I'm sitting there with my, my long <laughs> middle school hair. I have my silly bands on my wrist. And you I, look and like, you look like malnourished Justin Bieber. I mean, I still look malnourished, just not the Justin Bieber yeah, part. Yeah, you look better. You've uglier. definitely grown up, but yeah. Go uh, but I, but I, I, I'm just basically, I say, hey, Shane Dawson. Uh, I'm so sorry about what happened no, to your No, he looks grandma. like Shane Dawson. That's what Shane Dawson used to look like. With that oh, hair. the big fringe, but he was fat, though. Because he was such then. a big fan. That's what I'm thinking. Did now, you grow your hair to be like Shane Dawson? No, it was actually. You were also making your voice deeper. I purpose. was in that video. You can hear me like, hey, Shane Dawson. So I hadn't fully hit puberty yet because I was a late bloomer. <laughs> If, if you want to know what I was making my hair after, I was at Anthony Padilla from Smosh. I was like, uh, I was no, like, I, was, I want to look like Anthony. Oh, cheers to Anthony, bro. Bro. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm taking too long for this. I made a YouTube channel. It didn't pan out. And then when I uh, was in college, uh, I, uh, I started doing more YouTube videos for fun. And then uh, I met Ryan and our friend Daniel. And then we started talking when I flew out to California. And we started making some videos together. Uh, and then I met uh, the glorious Markiplier, and he hired me to be his editor. Uh, Can I do a Markiplier impression if that's okay? <laughs> you don't have to ask. I'm not, I'm not the gatekeeper. You can I don't ahead. know, bro. You're his mate. Hey. hey. <laughs> 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 Matt. Uh, yeah, Mark? <laughs> I'm going to need you to finish editing that video for me by 9 a.m. Bring me a bucket of cream. <laughs> <laughs> I need it for my bones. <laughs> I have red hair. I need a pair. Of <laughs> he would always say that. He would always come in my room at night and go, uh, red hair. Matt. <laughs> Matt, that was Matt's fucking sleep paralysis demon. He'd come in, he'd come in swing off in the door, and go, red and hair. And then Mark would be like, Mark would be like, Matt, red hair. <laughs> I know, Mark, I know. Yeah, it's good. It's good right here. Uh, yeah. I meet these very fine young men, Brian McGee and Daniel Kyer. We become very good friends. How'd you meet? Well, he Facebook. Was, you were more of Daniel's friend. Yeah. Because I never responded to your Facebook messages because all you would do is send me stuff like, uh, you would you would Photoshop my grandmother in like porn ads, and I didn't even <laughs> and I didn't know him that much at this point. So I was just like, okay. I find a picture of like him and his stepdad together and put it into one of those porn ads where it's like my stepdad fucked me, and now I'm gay. That's how you like. Broke That's the how I tried to break the ice. Yeah. So I flew to California to come make some videos, uh, and lo and behold, we did become best friends, uh, uh, and then we made videos like Blonde Boys and shit. Uh, but through that process. He, him and Daniel lived in LA because they were working for Mark at the time, and through that I met Mark. That was and then before, yeah. Mark was like, "I need editor," uh, and then he he cradled me in his big <laughs> muscular arms, kissed me on the forehead, and I became his editor. 
Hey, hey man, I, I, got, I got a little Mark question for you. Live with him. Yeah, we did. Why is this him? man yeah. so fried? Did you see his cock? Never saw his penis. No. Anyway, sorry, uh, I keep interrupting. I'm a horrible stop. host. I suck at this game, man. Like, this game. Ian will replace me when I die. Keep going. Uh, we worked for Mark for a while. Um, our friend Daniel, very unfortunately and tragically, passed away. Uh, and then after some time from coming back from that, we decided like let's start something new. Uh, so we Ryan and I together started Super Mega. You had kids with problems at this point. So we had Syndigo. Uh, or but, but Daniel and Ryan. Had Syndigo so Syndigo started, was your your yeah. and Daniel's so, channel. Did you start it together? Yes. So I'll, I guess I'll tell that shit and then we'll come back yeah, up to that. Fuse, fuse. Um, so Daniel and I knew each other since high school, and we were originally gonna Syndigo originally was gonna be us going to churches and making like promotional videos for him because we thought it would be easy targets. That's what you do in South Carolina. <laughs> That's when you, when you, horrible. What no, the fuck? in South Carolina, if you want to make money off film, you're like, I guess we can make church videos. I made church like, videos. Like, we'd go really? and make commercials for the church. Like, I made videos for my church and stuff. I did too. But actually, still out there. Weird, weird law. That sounds um, like such a specific thing. It's and you South. both had done that. It's the South, yeah. Not South Carolina. to each other? Well, Not weird, related. Weird, weird, so weird law. Uh, another one of our guests, Chadley, has also said like a similar thing. Not towards churches, but he was like, he did video stuff and editing. Wedding, wedding videos? And he was like, I did wedding, weddings too. He was, yeah, he was like, like wedding my sister's videos. wedding. So that's where the money is. I did cooking. Like, I, did, I worked for this lady who did like cook healthy cooking videos for kids. So I like made like a documentary for her and a bunch of shit. I, uh, I did, I filmed uh, wedding Ouch. videos. I, I filmed my sister's wedding video too. Uh, Brag about it, why don't you? Yeah. I only I only have one thing kept from that time period, and it's uh, my youth leader got this friend of his to make youth a leader. to make a productions intro for me, and it's me with a lightsaber making uh, striking a Z into the screen because it was Hazard <laughs> Productions. <laughs>the story behind this is is like. What, you were home alone and your youth leader was like, Ryan, let's make a, I have a friend with a camera, let's make a video. Yeah. So your youth leader from church came up and, you're, and you asked your parents and they were okay. You're like, yeah, you know, the youth leader and his friend with a camera can come Jesus, over. Bro. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it could be fun. Any friend of a Jesus, you gotta trust Jesus the people in the friend of church. church. You do, I trust that, I trust everyone you know, in the church. Our- D- Daniel and I knew each other since high school and then we got into college. We both went to like a technical college so we're like, we're not going anywhere type of shit. And we had fun making sketches together. And uh, we eventually just kind of came together and made Syndigo, which is was a sketch comedy channel. Eventually, uh, we um, like I remember I emailed Mark. This is when we first met Mark Applier, and uh, so this is how you met Mark. Mm-hmm. I, I emailed him to just be like, "Hey, would you like to narrate a sketch?" Because he only had like fifty thousand subs at the time. Mm-hmm. We had fifty, and he had fifty thousand. You know we met Mark, and we did videos with him. Blah blah blah. About like a year passes, and we read like. He'll come out, film some videos with us, all that shit. He moves out to L.A. We end up moving out there to, like, help him with, like, sketch comedy and just videos on his channel as well as to, like, do more Syndigo stuff. You both moved out there at the exact same time. Yeah, him and Daniel moved out Because we were Syndigo. And uh, and And this this is about the time I started becoming friends with them. Okay. And uh, I had my little channel kids... (laughs) Oh! So... Slave will clean up. Daniel and I moved out to L.A. and... February of 2015, and Matt came out to visit us in May. May, yeah. So May of 2015. Basically, what happened was that's when we met. I had my channel uh, in college with my buddy Jackson, and we were making stupid videos in college. And then uh, I got to be friends with them right when they had moved out to LA. Uh, and then they were like, "I finished my freshman year of college," and they're like, "Why don't you come out and make some videos?" So I came out. We made stuff like Blonde Boys, "Fuck Your Mom," all that kind of stuff. Blonde Boys is the <laughs> most popular video on Syndigo, I would say. Yeah, that's like almost seven million views now. Yeah, that's it. So we were seven just, mil? Yeah. But uh, so we really wanted Matt out in LA. So Daniel was the one that actually convinced Mark to hire Matt as an editor because Mark wanted an editor, and so we Daniel brought. Daniel gave him a bunch of opium. And he just like <laughs> we was out of his mind. You have to clarify what? No, okay. So I, I think I feel no. like Matt does a lot of jokes where there's no clarification that it was sarcasm. No, Daniel did not give Mark opium. Okay, so <laughs> Dan, Daniel told Mark he's like, "Hey, you need an editor." I mean, this I mean, guy that's that just, just came out to visit you know him well. This so is Matt. So then Matt became a member of Syndigo, the third member of Syndigo, and then we ended up all just kind of like living together. And uh, Daniel passed away. And I didn't want to continue Syndigo after that because 
in from my head. Um, something you guys started together. It, it was something. It's like without Daniel, like there is no sin to go. Just yeah. like if like I quit or if I passed away or something. It's like if Cheech and Chong, it would be like the opposite. You know? Yeah, like it's not Cheech and Chong without. There's Cheech. so much of his personality there that it, it would seem just kind of like shitty to just yeah, be like, yeah. yeah. We're sin to get like a new duo. It's yeah, especially because really I joined like literally like a month prior. Yeah. So it's like, that'd be weird. And so I, I just kind of was very instantly like, I don't want to do sin to go anymore. I'll just, uh, I think the last video was just kind of just like a, Hey, it's ending. This is what happened. And bye. Yeah. And, uh, we went back home for a few months to grieve and right. then came back out. I, I, I worked for, Mark channel alongside you for a little bit, you as the main editor and me just kind of doing side stuff, like little editing vlogs and stuff like that. And eventually I came aboard with kids with, I came on board. Right. You invited me to come on board with kids with problems, which I was your this, sketch comedy I had this channel. channel prior um, that had gained some traction because of Mark. And at the time, uh, after all this tragedy happened, Ryan and I were like, fuck, what do we do now? You yeah. know? So I was like, well, I have this channel with some traction. How about you? Yuri, shut up, bro. Why are you coughing? <laughs> shut up, bro. They're getting into the law, man. You know, it, there's this period of like, Ryan and I are kind of like, Fuck, what do we do? So I had this channel at the time, which had gained some subscribers from Mark and uh, my, my affiliation with him. So we're like, well, you know, visited Sketch Comedy. What if we move it here and do this? So we did some videos there, but it kind of felt a little bit weird uh, because like, you know, it's like, it felt like we just kind of shifted stuff to somewhere else and weren't really doing. Most of the catalog was what you did. And right. bringing me along, it just kind of like, it was still more of your channel. And I didn't, and I didn't, I felt like I was just kind of like a cast member and on that channel. That. So like, I wanted to actually create stuff and be a part of something. Cause I liked the process of building a channel. Right. Um, and so you felt the same way. We had this crazy idea. We're like, what if we just start a brand new channel right now? from the ground up. Because with Kids of Problems, we would only upload every like three, four weeks. Um, so is, is Kids with Problems still a channel? Like, are you guys it's still there, still but we, still, we, haven't, we haven't posted in years. Yeah. You know, because yeah. uh, it's kind of like a relic of history. It's kind of there now. Yeah. Uh, but I basically- like your main channel, bro. But basically- basically, a demon. But basically, uh, Ryan and I were like, we saw this demand online from doing videos with Mark where people wanted to see more of us. And we're like, well, we're only posting every now and then. What if we made a channel that's more like regular? And, you know, at the time we knew a lot of. At the time, you couldn't have a channel solely based on sketch comedy, which is what we really liked doing right. because it couldn't it no grow. Money. Yeah, and it that was grow. when the algorithm was just kind of all against that type of content. What year was, it? What year was this? 2016, uh, 20, which is kind of yeah. around the same time, I guess, that animation was really taking a big hit yeah, as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Sure, attention. so and, short, and it was high quality videos was, was not a good way to go. 2016 was literally anything high effort just got fucked. That's when they, also, they yeah. decided it was retention because also, they wanted to yeah. keep customers on the website. At the time, uh, we weren't into the YouTube scene at all. The only people that we actually knew uh, in the YouTube scene seemed to be like Let's Players. And we saw the success of all of them, and we're like, uh, you know, like I feel like people want to see more of us, and we like video games. Why don't we do that? This is like, yeah, like this. Uh, is so we figured out, like, why don't we do a podcast? We'll do gaming videos, and we can still put the sketch comedy stuff and all that other stuff on this channel. What if we make a variety channel that all sure, of this originally. is put into one? Uh, so that's how we kind of came up with the idea for Super Mega. Yeah, uh, we went through a million name changes. It was gonna be Sellout Club. It was gonna be all this stuff. And then like was, two days it, before what we was launched. the other thing? It was like super mega fun time. Or yeah. Some we long like, fucking name. It was some long thing. We shortened to super mega and we were so excited. And I still like, I look back on the days when we first started so fondly because it was so much fun just working on it with you and our apartment yep. and everything. Uh, eventually we moved out from Mark's place, got our own apartment, worked on the channel nonstop. We fucking put blood, sweat, and tears into that shit. I remember you telling me at one point you guys were aiming for two videos a day. Or was yeah, we did. Yeah. yeah, we originally we were doing two videos a day, and I would love to get back to that point eventually. 